Hi, my name is Ashley, and this is the fifth episode of Torrent Freak TV. BitTorrent Inc., which recently assigned a new CEO, is also feeling the tough economic climate. Even though the company had managed to raise $46.4 million in the last four years, they have been struggling to stay afloat. In August, BitTorrent laid off about 20% of its staff, and just last month, another 18 people were fired. To date, BitTorrent has let go of approximately half of their company. And while the spending on online video content is increasing, BitTorrent Inc.'s Torrent Entertainment Network wasn't as successful as the company had hoped. Therefore, the company decided to reintroduce their search portal and get rid of Torrent Entertainment Network altogether. However, for everyone who is hoping that the search is of any kind of use, don't get your hopes up. The search is done through Ask.com, so before you can find your torrent, you have to browse through quite a few ads and then hope that it will lead you to a torrent. We suggest using torrents.eu instead. Resident Evil Degeneration is the first CG animation film inspired by the popular video game. The movie has skipped most of the US theaters and is going to be released on DVD and Blu-ray by the end of December. It has quickly become one of BitTorrent's blockbusters. Just four days after the movie had been leaked onto BitTorrent, it had been downloaded more than a million times. Normally, independent artists love it when something like this happens, because it generally means big promotions and high DVD sales, but we doubt Sony Pictures will appreciate it as such. Pirates of the Amazon started as a school assignment. It allowed people who downloaded the Firefox plugin to search Amazon.com, and rather than only being able to buy DVDs, CDs, and such, they were also able to download from the Pirate Bay for free. The plugin was a huge hit and gained a lot of media attention straight away. It also got attention from Amazon.com, who sent a legal takedown request the following day. The plugin received mixed reviews by people. Some approved, while others were against it completely. Even though the plugin has been removed from the official website, it can still be found on torrent websites. And now, let's see what Stacia prepared for us this episode. Hey, my name is Stacia, and today I'm going to show you how to download torrent files using uTorrent and an iPhone. First, make sure you have the latest version of uTorrent. Then go to Option, Preferences, Web UI, and check Enable Web UI. Then choose Username and a password that you won't forget. We suggest changing the port. Click OK and head over to davidraso.com backslash utorrent dash iPhone. There, download the zip file, extract it, and copy the path from the site into your browser. Open the web UI zip file and copy the iPhone folder into it. Once you are done with that, get your iPhone and open Safari. Go to mininova.com, search for the file you want to download, and write down the torrent ID. Then write your IP address in the web browser, colon, port, backslash, GUI, backslash, iPhone, backslash, i.html. Select plus and enter the torrent ID number. The torrent should now start downloading. If you cannot remember your IP or if it changes, you can use a service like dyndns.com. This year is quickly coming to an end, and it is time we take a look at what were the most downloaded games and movies over BitTorrent this last year. Let's start with games. Most of the games that made the list were not created in 2008. For example, The Sims 2, which came in second, was actually made in 2004, but these are games that just stick with people. All of the games that were made in 2008 and also happened to make the list were released after September. 
It probably comes with no surprise that the most hyped game of the year, Spore, came in first. On the other hand, Wired.com chose Spore as the most disappointing game of 2008. When it comes to movies, though, most of them are released this year or late 2007. It is probably not a shocker that the top 2008 grossy movie also made the top of the list, The Dark Knight, which is set to return to theaters across the U.S. again in January, had been downloaded more than 7 million times, or in MPAA numbers, around $50 million lost in ticket sales. So it's time to give away our free Torrent Freak t-shirt. We had 97 entries, so let's choose the winner. All right, so the winner is Nick Parker. So next episode, we're gonna be giving away another free t-shirt. All you have to do is send an email to competition at torrentfreak.com and uh, let us know what you think in the email. Don't forget to include your name and we'll choose the winner next episode. Thanks.